Go Dante. We've actually mentioned in the video above, haven't we, for uh, Dodu the Great. Um, but he also will be mentioned again a little bit later. There's a there's a few form lines that I'm I'm really keen on, and I think Go Dante's um, hurdles form last year was very good. He finished sixth on his return in the Great Wood Hurdle behind Iberico Lord, um, behind Lucia, behind Sonagino, Nami and Lion. That was a really good run, um, despite being outpaced on his return um, from wind surgery. And then went to Cheltenham and beat Dodgy the Great, and I thought that was a good performance, um, beating Dodgy the Great. Then finished third in the Betfair Hurdle behind Iberico Lord and Lode Sud. Both of those, I think, are actually graded horses. Um, Lode de Sud, I think, will end up in graded races. Uh, Lode de Sud does actually have an entry next... Uh, on Sunday, sorry. Uh, not next. So on Sunday, the novice chase at Utoxeter. Um, so keep an eye out for Lode de Sud. Um, and then Godanti went to Sandown and won. Great performance. Beating Favois, who'd obviously won... Um, hadn't Favois won the... Imperial Cup a few years ago um, and then on his most recent start he went to Aintree finished fifth but if you watch the race he was so unlucky he completely missed the start he spun around at the start um, and was way off the back 20-25 lengths if not more off the back somehow he managed to catch up and get himself involved um, and looked like he was going to play a big part. It just caught him out late on. You know, that extra effort that he had made to get himself back involved just um, came to uh, the fore towards the end and he finished fifth, but wasn't beaten that far. He was only beaten three and a quarter lengths by the winner. Um, and if he hadn't missed 20, 25 lengths at the beginning, he wins comfortably, doesn't he? So the fact the handicapper left him on one, three, four, you've got to think there's unfinished business for um, Go Dante. It's got to be the Great Wood Hurdle, isn't it? I mean, finished sixth in it last year when things didn't quite go to plan. Um, has been to Cheltenham uh, and won. Has also finished third in the Betfair Hurdle at Newbury, which is always a track I like for uh, Cheltenham and Newbury. I think they work well. Um, yeah, he's he's just... Surely he's going to be in the Great Wood Hurdle. If he doesn't win the Great Wood Hurdle, I imagine they'll just target all of the feature handicaps. And to be honest, I mean, off one, three, four, if he turned up in the um, Betfair Hurdle, you would have to give him a massive chance again off that sort of mark. Because I th as I said, I think he got beat by two Grade One performers in Iberica Lord and Lode Sud. Um, granted, if Doddy the Great turned up as well, you'd have to think he would go close. But there wouldn't be a lot between them at all. Um, I think Godanti is, is going to win one of these feature handicaps this season. Um, I mean, the plan could easily be uh, Greatwood Hurdle, Betford Hurdle, County Hurdle, back to Aintree for the race they got um, beaten last year, if it hasn't worked up until that point. I think he could, would have won one of those races before that um, in the meantime, though. So he's definitely one that I am adding to my horses to follow.